In this class, we will look at how to download a file to Oracle integration that is with the download file operation. This download file operation is used in order to download the file in a logical directory. The file size supports is up to 1 GB. Up to 1 GB when we can download into a local directory at runtime in integration. Now let us check how to do that. I will clone the previously created integration that is list files FTP. Click on clone. Here instead of list file, I will name this as download file. Click on clone. Edit this FTP integration. Now I will delete this invocation from here. Click on reset. Now again I will call the FTP connection over here. This time we have to name this as download file. Click on next. Here the operation is a download file. Select a transform mode is a binary. Input directory, this we will map what we get from the request data. For this wizard completion, these are mandatory. So I am filling up the details. Click on next and done. Now there will be a mapper created here. We have to populate the data. Select the XSLT and developer mode. Expand the download request. Now the file name, we need to pass the file name which it has to download. So in the request we will send this snakes count thousand.csv and the source directory we are mapping to directory. Download directory if you want to mention you can do it over here. This is a local logical directory which will be created at runtime in integration. If you want you can provide at the configuration in the wizard configuration as I had provided slash download. So that is sufficient. Click on validate. and close. So once the file has been downloaded, this can download up to 1 GB file, then we can make use of stage activity, which we will discuss in next chapter. So with the help of that, we can read the file in segments. Now instead of download, why we cannot read the file directly from FTP server? The answer is because if the file size is more than 10 MB, then you might get payload exceeded the limit error. In order to avoid that error, we use the approach like first we will download the file, then we will try to read the file in integration. Now I will save the integration, close. Activate the integration. And we'll run the integration. Go to body. In the source directory, I'm giving the directory path over here. I'm removing the target directory details as it is not required. Once done, click on test button. Test completed. Let me refresh and get the audit detail. Expand this message received from download file. Here you can get the details what and all file it has downloaded and also the file reference. With the help of this reference, we can use the stage activity and read the file. 